So let's talk about propeller speed and how that affects a drone's flight. Now in the last video, we talked about how a drone changes the speed of its propellers to balance itself, right? So now we're gonna discuss which propellers are spinning faster and how that spin translates into the movement of the drone, okay? So coaches in the class, if you can pass out the propeller speed guys right now, each child gets one and I'll, we'll pull it up here on the screen as well. So let's, let's take a look at the propeller speed guy. So the first thing you notice, if you look at it, the, there's an image of a drone. Now with the drone, uh, if you look at the image there, wherever you see the green circles over those particular propellers and motors, that indicates, so that shows that those propellers are spinning faster than the other two propellers, okay? So in that first image there in the upper left-hand corner, if we want to move forward, you can see that the two back propellers are spinning faster, right? So remember, a drone has a front and a back just like a car does, right? So if we wanted to go forward, the two propellers in the back have to spin. And so if we're looking at our drone here, it's these two here. These are spinning faster than these two are spinning. Okay. And so what happens is, remember we're trying to balance. These two spin faster, it pushes, pushes it up higher and it puts the drone off balance and it moves forward. Okay. You see how that works? So when you see the drone flying, you'll see it moving like tilted to the front, to the back, left or right, okay? And really all that's happening is it's being pushed off of balance, which gives you the flight characteristics that you see. So now let's look back at the propeller speed guide. If we wanted to go backwards, the two front propellers spin faster. And as you can see from the, the picture there, that means the drone goes backwards. And then as you can see there too, on the if we want to go left, the two right propellers spin faster. If we want to go right, the two left propellers spin faster. Now here's a, a tricky part. Now, if you've seen the drone fly, then you know that it can rotate in midair, left or right, counterclockwise and clockwise, right? So how does that happen? Well, if you look at the image there, to spin clockwise, the two, the upper left propeller spin faster and the lower right hand propeller spins faster. You see that? And so, it, and then it turns clockwise. And then the spin counterclockwise, the opposite happens, right? The two diagonal from each other, the upper right hand and the lower left hand spin faster, okay? Now, here's something interesting. And the reason that a drone is able to spin based off the, the, the spin of the diagonal propellers uh, clockwise or counterclockwise is because these two propellers here actually spin clockwise, okay? And then these two propellers here spin counterclockwise, okay? And that's something that you would never know unless somebody told you because you can't visually see it. And so what happens is these two are spinning faster. If they spin faster than these two, you get greater force, which then turns the drone in that direction. And then vice versa. If these spin faster, it creates more force rotationally in the other direction, and then it's able to turn that way, right? And so, and you'll notice if you look at the propellers, these two are not the same. So as you notice in the propeller station activity, the propellers only spin in one direction, right? Otherwise, they would just fall or not work at all. And so, if you look at the blades on these propellers, these are, are clockwise blades and, and these are counterclockwise. They're made to spin in a different direction, okay? So that the leading edge of that propeller is going into the wind, okay? And so, that's how a drone flies. All it's doing is because it has a computer chip on it or a brain, because it's a robot, is it's constantly changing the speed of the different propellers to get the movements that we want based on our controls or if we program it based on what the program tells it to do, right? So if we wanna go straight up and down, which propellers spin faster? They all spin, right? They all spin at the same speed, which then creates 
the lift that we need to push it up and down, right? It's only when we have different speeds that we get the different movements of the drone that allow us to fly in different directions. And that's the key point of this section.